Hello, Ben here, and in this video, I'm going to be using the Oddmaster app to program this TID Radio TDH3 via Bluetooth. So, I've been on the Play Store and downloaded the Oddmaster app, which we're going to open now. Um, you'll have to create yourself a, a login for it, otherwise, it doesn't seem to work properly. There was talk that you didn't need to. Uh, uh, to log in but it seems to me that you need to uh, unless somebody knows another way but anyway I've created an account and we've logged in on there uh, next thing to do is on the radio itself obviously with it switched on we're going to press and hold the menu or the Bluetooth button uh, just for a couple of seconds and then you'll see the little, tiny little Bluetooth icon just there appears on the screen so that's now in Bluetooth mode uh, over to the app we're going to hit select the model uh, TID radio and this is a TDH3 and it's the ham radio version uh, so I'm going to hit the, the ham one okay so then we need to pair with the device so I'm going to tap just here um, it's found the TDH3 so we're just going to turn the Bluetooth on by the little switch there so that goes blue and it's now uh, successfully paired with the device um, and then we can read from the radio so I'm going to hit read and you can see instantly um, you get the bar on the, the radio as well, or the bar on the radio and on the uh, uh, the app as well. Progress bar. That'll just take a few seconds to read. There we go, that's done. So what we're going to do now then is um, we're going to set a, a channel up. So I'm going to set um, uh, channel 1 as uh, the two meters uh, call and frequency now obviously already had a little practice with this so you can see it, see it's already still in there on this one uh, but we can over type if we want to so I can delete all that um, and then one four five five oh oh you don't need to put the point in that's the receive frequency the transmit frequency is going to be the same and then anything else we want to set in there we can so uh, we're on high power we want that to be a narrow channel uh, we're not going to add it to any of the scan groups or anything just yet um, and then we can go to channel 2 so that's channel 1's program channel 2 uh, we'll set that one up for our local repeater so in there I'm going to type uh, let's delete all that and I'm going to put the, uh, this is the receive frequency, so I'm going to put the uh, repeater's output frequency in there. And it's a 77's repeater on 430875. Hasn't put the point in, has it? Why has it not done that? That was because I've put the cursor the wrong side of the, uh, the decimal point there. Should remember, so let's try again. 4... Three zero eight seven five is the receive frequency. The input or the transmit frequency is four three eight four seven five. Uh, we don't want a frequency hop. Um, we do want an encoder on there, so we want. Um, This is the trouble, you can't get rid of the screen somehow. Uh, I need to get rid of the uh, get rid of the display. There we go, clear that. Uh, decoder, and I know I want 94.8 uh, tone for this, re uh, this repeater. We're on high power again. I want to be a narrow. Uh, what else can we put a name in so I can name the repeater? So I'm going to put in there. The repeater name. Uh, what else do we do? Functions as well. Let's look at the functions. Um, is everything right for that? I think we've got everything right. We want Roger Bleep switched off. That's correct. So uh, all good. Okay, so that is um, a two meter simplex frequency, a repeater frequency in there. Let's go back to our channels and then we'll try putting in on channel three. Uh, an airband frequency. So I'll do the same. I'm going to clear, 
clear the receive and it's also cleared the TX for me as well. I'm going to put in my local airport, so I'm going to put in 11935. Put the zeros in. I'm going to put the, obviously, it won't transmit on the uh, airband, but I'm still going to put in the 11935. And let's just see if it'll let us input that. Um, yeah, it says it's beyond the frequency range, so let's just leave it. It's obviously left that blank, but we'll see what happens. Transmit power doesn't matter, wide narrow, uh, it's not going to be a problem. Uh, well, I want this to be an AM uh, frequency, obviously, because it's airbound. Now, what I've noticed is, unless I knows otherwise, I can't seem to tell it in this application to um, to be an, an AM frequency. So we'll do that manually in the radio, it's easy enough. Uh, I'm going to name it, I'm going to put the name of the airport in there. So it's Norwich Airport. Let's clear that. Okay, so we'll try writing these three to the radio now. So I'm going to hit write, and we'll get the progress bar again, and then uh, the same on the radio. There we go. So we confirm that's done. Uh, you can see we're in we're in channel mode at the moment and uh, it's gone to Norwich Airport so let's just scroll down the channels there we go channel 2 uh, is GB3YL my local amateur radio repeater and um, <clears throat> first of all let's just check that's worked M7 FRS Mike 7 Fox Chock Romeo Sierra check and access GB3YL right so that didn't work I realised what I've done wrong there uh, looking at the uh, what the setup there, I should have put that on the encoder, the uh, CTCSS, so I've, I need to change that to off, and then it's actually encoder we want, isn't it? So let's change that, I think obviously click the wrong one there, and let's just rewrite that to the radio again, and uh, we'll see if it works this time. So let's try again. Mike 7, Foxtrot Romeo Sierra M7 FRS, just check and access GB3YL. There we go, so uh, the repeater is uh, is working there. Um, let's go down to the uh, airport frequency that we've put in there. And like I say, at the moment that's currently receiving on FM, so we need to tell that to receive on AM. So let's go to the menu and... Uh, let's find uh, which menu it is. I forget what number it is now, but it's quite high up in the menus, I think. Might be somewhere in the 40s, maybe. There we go. Menu 48 is AM Airband, so we're going to switch that to on. Uh, press to confirm and then exit so you can now see that we've got AM uh, in the screen. Now like I said I couldn't find anywhere um, in the in the channel information that would, uh, unless I'm missing something obvious, that I could uh, see where to swap that to an AM channel. But anyway, that's done that now. So now if I change channel, um, the other channels will still be, be FM so nothing will be displayed. Uh, and then if I go to the airband channel that will be um, an AM frequency. Anyway, I hope you found that little, uh, little uh, video useful. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more. I'll put a link in the description to other videos in the same TID Radio series. And uh, I'll say hit the subscribe button uh, and we'll uh, see you on the next one. 7-3.